All right, today we're going to focus on another little tidbit in our tubing and piping series. We're going to put on a compression fitting. Now, a compression fitting works by constricting down on the tubing, tightening around it. So, I've chucked the fitting up in the vise here to hold it steady. You have the compression nut. It's already got the ferrule in it. We're going to slip it over the pipe. This is a piece of soft copper, half inch. Slip it down over the pipe. We're going to bottom the copper in the fitting and then we'll slide the nut up as we keep the piping bottomed out in the fitting. We're going to start the threads run them up finger tight. I've already chosen the appropriate size wrench. Apply the wrench start tightening. Now in most situations you'll have to use a backup wrench on this other fitting. And just keep cranking it making sure your tubing is staying seated. Crank down. And, and you'll notice as you go that it's there's some pressure but when it bottoms out it'll just almost stop and be impossible to turn. Approaching it now. There it is. It just almost won't go any tighter. Now, as you can see, it has pushed the collar out the back here a little bit. Your tubing is fastened to whatever your device is, even if it's a coupling. These come in uh, a multitude of different fittings. So, this can be used for water. I don't think they use them a lot in gas, but if you run across these and need to reuse them, you have to cut the tubing off and buy everything new except for the centerpiece. You can back the nut off, you can buy other ferrules and put in there, but you've always got to cut the tubing off and start anew. Just one more little piping device that you'll find in homes, mobile homes. Uh, here, there, and quite likely everywhere. Uh, nothing to it. A few little tools. A little patience. Uh, you can tackle anything.